So tonight we'll have a series of uh, psalms that speak about the coming of the Messiah, or at least that's how we Christians interpret them. And then there'll be a prayer that comes from a different part of the world. And because there's voices that we hear that are part of the chorus of the church that we may not always hear uh, as often as, as we would like. Um, so uh, I've asked uh, Diane and Don, and if uh, Tim and Sandy, if you're there, uh, when a prayer comes up, uh, Diane and Don have the first two, so if the third one comes up, if one of you would uh, jump in there, that would be wonderful. So this is a time just to center ourselves and enter into the holy night of Christ's birth. Let your goodness, Lord, appear to us, that we, made in your image, conform ourselves to it. In our own strength, we cannot imitate your majesty, power, and wonder, nor is, is it fitting for us to try. But your mercy reaches from the heavens to the clouds to the earth below. You have come to us as a small child, but you have brought us the greatest of all gifts, the gift of your eternal love. Caress us with your tiny hands, embrace us with your tiny arms, and pierce our hearts with your soft, sweet cries. Amen.
This evening I'm reading from a family Bible uh, from Belinda's side of the family, and this is from the King James Version. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. This is a Christmas prayer. Uh, Lord, there is enchantment in the air tonight, casting a mysterious spell of expectancy on all creation, fulfilling the promise of the birth of God on earth as a human child. And as I watch with trembling hope, the wondrous pageant pass by of poor shepherds and powerful kings, the radiant serenity of the night is suddenly broken by a storm of power drunk winds spewing bullets of hatred, hurling stones of violence on men and women, on frightened ch children, all fleeing from the grips of oppressive structures, from the bondage of sorrow and broken lives, from explosive knowledge, which has not yet solved the problems of hunger and poverty, from crumbling values, which confuse the mind from death itself, searching for the manger where God's love and goodness for all humanity blossoms in the heart of a babe. And let us know anew this Christmas morn, all people as our brother, as our sister. Amen. From Psalm 97. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of the righteousness judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. This is a Christmas prayer from Japan. Living Water One who said I am the eternal water dwelt among us, living with us, sustaining us. This is Christmas. To receive a cup of living water is not only to cleanse us, but also to cleanse all the waters, river and well, 
lake and ocean, and to share them with all. This is Christmas. Amen. Sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the earth, all, unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing a song of praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm with trumpets and sound of coronet. 
Make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. Before the Lord, he that cometh to judge the earth with righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Jackie, are you there? Okay, Belinda, would you read this prayer? I'd be happy to. <clears throat> A Christmas prayer from Spain. O Holy One, Word made flesh, eternity captured in a life within time, heaven laid in a manger stall, you the light dipped down into our darkness. We pray that you will forgive our sins and make us clean and open to receive you at your coming. Loose us today from our treacheries toward you and our cruelties toward one another. Now we have come again, dear Lord, to the time of the morning star, to yourself moving as azure blue into our contamination, as open touch to our fisted exclusiveness, as a carol sung to our meagerness, as rose to our bitterness, as love to our emptiness. You are upon us as sky, hands, songs, garlands, tastes, making us yours in joy. We marvel not that angelic hosts sang and shouted for joy. Amen. The 102nd Psalm. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in that day when I am in trouble. Incline thine ear unto me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as an earth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. Mine enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of thy indignation and thy wrath, for thou hast lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like shadow that declineth, and I am withered like grass. But thou, O Lord, shall endure forever, and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, but for the time to favor her, yea, the time set is, has come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. This shall be written for the generation to come and the people which it shall be created shall praise the Lord. For he hath looked down upon the height from his sanctuary. From heaven did the Lord behold the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoner. To loose those that are appointed to death. To declare the name of the Lord in Zion. His praise in Jerusalem. When the people are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He weakened, weakened my strength in the way. He shortened my days. I said, oh my God, take me not away in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. 
of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands, and they shall perish, but thou shalt endure forever. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment, as a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. The children of thy servants shall continue, and their seed shall be established before thee. A Christmas prayer from Iran. <clears throat> oh, people, take a notice. The Messiah has come. The Savior of the world has come. All the creation testifies to his coming. Open your hearts and see your Redeemer. Don't wait another day. Open your eyes and see. Prince of Peace, the Messiah has come. Amen. I took my tree down to the shore The garland and the silver stars To find my peace and grieve no more To heal this place inside my heart On every branch I laid some and hungry birds filled up the skies They rang like bells around my head <laughs> One tiny child can change the world One shining light can show the way Tears for what I've lost. There's still my joy. There's still my joy for Christmas Day. The snow comes down on empty sand. There's tinsel moonlight on the waves. My soul was lost, but here I am. So this must be amazing grace. One tiny child can change the world. One shining light can show the way. Through all my tears for what I've lost. There's still my joy, there's still my joy for Christmas Day. There's still my joy for Christmas Day. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is comely. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcast of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wound. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifteth up the meek. He casteth the wicked down to the ground. 
Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow up upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth forth his, his commandment upon the earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth the hoarfrost like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sendeth out his word and melteth them. He causeth his wind to blow and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto, Jerusalem, unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not so dealt with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. A Christmas prayer from South Africa. Well, uh, 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 Sandy, do, would you read this? Oh, sure. Good. A Christmas prayer from South Africa. Great is our happiness. Great is, O King, our happiness in thy kingdom. Thou, our King. We dance before thee, our King, by the strength of thy kingdom. May our feet be made strong. Let us dance before thee, eternal. Give ye praise, all angels, to the one above who is worthy of praise. Amen. I want to share just a, a quick thought. Um, you may have heard uh, the poem or prayer by Howard Thurman. He was uh, dean of the chapel at Howard University and also at Boston University. Uh, he was a mentor to Martin Luther King. He wrote, when the song of the angels is still, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among people, to make music in the heart. I didn't know that this was also made into a song by Jim Strathby. And the chorus of this, says, I am the light of the world. You people come and follow me. If you follow and love, you'll learn the mystery of what you were meant to do and be. You know, I'm, I'm not uh, well-versed in the sciences. Uh, and so I, I can't speak with authority, but I have been told that the winter solstice, which occurred a few days ago, uh, means that the days will now become longer by like a minute or something like that per day. So there's more light coming into the world. Um, and that's where I think we are. That's our purpose, our, our role in this mystery of life, that we are to 
be bearers of the light. We're, to, we're the ones who are asked to follow Christ. And if Christ is bringing the light into the world, then that's our task as well. So this night, I hope that you'll take a moment before you go to bed and offer, offer tomorrow. Offer tomorrow to be the light bearers, the light that is Christ, the light that is coming and is already present in the world because you are present, because you are engaged in the world. Let the heart and mind that was in Christ be in you. And because of that, the world will be a brighter place. Go ahead, Belinda.
<clears throat> Charles, we can't hear you. After all this time, oh, from Robert Louis Stevenson. Loving Father, help us to remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, the worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teaches us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be thy children and the Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven. For Jesus' sake, amen. And that, my friends, is our offering this Christmas Eve. I hope you go to your rest with thoughts of sugar plums and all those other good things dancing in your heads and you wake up tomorrow with a song in your heart. Go in peace. Amen. And thank you Amen. for taking Amen. part. Amen. Thank you. That was beautiful.